Welcome, everyone. We invite you to join us on a journey to explore a tough but incredibly meaningful profession, harvesting and processing red shrimp. Modern vessels carry out large-scale fishing operations in the icy waters of Alaska. In today's video, we'll follow the brave American fishermen who spend their lives at sea to better understand how they catch, process, and prepare hundreds of tons of red shrimp each day. From the deep ocean floor to state-of-the-art packing lines, ready for export around the world. Before the frigid dawn breaks over the northern sea, massive shrimp trawlers set sail. Each ship, equipped with advanced technology and stretching several dozen meters in length, carries a crew of seasoned sailors, each with clearly defined roles and responsibilities. The main harvesting tool is a large bottom trawl net, a specialized net designed to sweep up schools of red shrimp from the ocean's depths. It may sound simple, but every trip is a battle against nature, facing rough seas, freezing temperatures, and the relentless pressure to meet quotas. After hours adrift, when radar signals show shrimp moving along the ocean floor, the captain gives the order to drop the nets. Giant mechanical arms spring into action, lowering hundreds of meters of net into the sea, spreading it across the bottom. Modern tracking systems pinpoint the exact location and speed of the shrimp schools, optimizing the harvest. As the net is hauled back up, Hundreds of tons of vibrant red shrimp glisten in the morning light, pouring into the ship's hold. The crew cheers in celebration, while the roaring engines echo the success of a bountiful catch. Processing begins the moment the shrimp hit the deck to preserve peak freshness. A conveyor system along the ship's deck immediately moves the shrimp to the sorting area. Large, healthy shrimp with bright color are set aside for premium processing, while the rest are sent to the factory for further handling. Though machines assist in every step, the process still depends on the skill and experience of the crew. In freezing conditions, with the boat constantly rocking, the fishermen work tirelessly, hands swiftly trimming, washing, and sorting each shrimp as if they've been doing it their entire lives. Once the hold is full, the vessel turns back toward port. The trip can last several days or even weeks, but thanks to onboard freezing systems, the entire catch is preserved in pristine condition. When the ship docks, hundreds of tons of shrimp are quickly transported to nearby processing plants, marking the start of a new phase in the journey, where the most advanced seafood production lines begin their work. At the factory, each crate of red shrimp is placed on a large conveyor system and undergoes high-pressure washing to remove impurities and sand. Next, a combination of color and size sensors ensures perfect sorting accuracy. Shrimp that meet strict quality standards are sent to a rapid freezing area, a technique that locks in freshness and the signature snap of shrimp meat within minutes. In another section, skilled workers operate like a well-oiled machine, peeling shells, removing heads, or slicing shrimp according to custom orders from all over the globe. We may not see the sweat, the sleepless nights, or the cracked hands working in freezing warehouses. But when we see those glistening red shrimp, we can truly feel the value of labor. These tiny creatures carry a grand story of the ocean, of human perseverance, and of sustainable progress. The journey from ocean to table is nothing short of epic, one that demands not only cutting-edge technology and flawless logistics, but also the passion and dedication of thousands of hard-working people. Every day, the ships set out in the dark and the factory lights come on, together forming a disciplined, synchronized rhythm built on responsibility and hard work. Every day, hundreds of tons of red shrimp represent more than just food. They are the embodiment of labor, aspiration, and the deep-rooted culture of the sea. Thank you for joining us on today's journey. If you found this video meaningful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss the next authentic stories from the deep blue ocean. We'll see you again in our next episode, where we'll continue exploring the silent yet vital industry behind the global food supply chain. One remarkable aspect of red shrimp processing is the seamless coordination between humans and machines. After witnessing the modern and impressive methods used to catch and process these shrimp, the vessel resumes its journey offshore, 
heading toward vast ocean areas where seasonal fish migrations take place. Here, a new chapter begins. Not with small nets or bottom trawls, but with massive trawl nets stretching hundreds of meters, like iron walls sweeping through the sea to harvest schools of migratory fish. A fisherman's journey never truly ends. For them, every stretch of ocean tells a new story, and every species of seafood carries its own value. As the sun begins to rise and its rays cut through the cold morning mist over the sea, it's time for the fleet to prepare for the flying fish and barracuda catch, two small but highly nutritious fish. These species gather in dense schools in cold waters and migrate with seasonal currents, making them key targets on long fishing expeditions. Unlike red shrimp, which are caught in smaller quantities, flying fish and barracuda form glittering, mobile silver seas, millions swimming together like ribbons of life shimmering in the salty water. At this moment, the captain signals the fishing crew. Everyone rushes into position. Giant hydraulic engines roar to life, powering cranes and winches as they release a trawl net over 800 meters long and as tall as a 10-story building into the ocean. These nets are no longer simple woven cloth. Each strand is made of high-strength synthetic materials, capable of withstanding immense forces and corrosion from seawater. These nets aren't just fishing tools. They're products of advanced marine technology, designed to minimize bycatch, reduce fish injury, and support the sustainability of the marine ecosystem. On deck, experienced crew members monitor the trawl operation using radar and sonar-connected displays. Thanks to sonar technology, they can pinpoint the exact location and density of fish schools deep beneath the surface. This allows them to adjust the net's depth and path for maximum efficiency. The screens display a live map, each glowing dot representing a moving school of fish. The captain navigates not only with his eyes, but with a combination of scientific tools and decades of experience at sea. Within just a few hours, the trawl nets collect a massive amount of fish. As the nets rise, the surface of the water churns like a storm, and hundreds of tons of flying fish and barracuda splash and shimmer, reflecting the sunlight like thousands of tiny diamonds. The sharp scent of the sea blends with the sounds of net winches and engines, forming a chaotic but powerful symphony of work at sea. The ship rocks under the sheer weight and energy of the catch. The fish are then sucked through a high-pressure pipeline system directly into ultra-fast freezing chambers, preserving their freshness instantly. Every step is part of a powerful, precise machine that never stops. No wasted movements, because in this business, every minute matters. Thousands of fish could slip away if even a second is lost. The cold storage is constantly being filled. Layer after layer of fish spread out evenly, flash frozen within moments, while the ship steadily pushes onward to the next fishing grounds. It's a seamless fusion of human labor and high technology, where hunting instincts merge with machine intelligence, creating a dynamic rhythm beneath the ocean surface. The engine's low hum echoes through the depths, and another net is cast into the sea. Hundreds of tons of fish from the first haul are offloaded, rinsed, inspected, and prepared for the next round. On board, the crew works in perfect harmony, moving with a rhythm born of experience. Like musicians performing a silent symphony, there's no need to shout or give orders. Each person knows their role, mastering every detail through storms and hundreds of voyages at sea. With each haul, in addition to flying fish or barracuda, there are sometimes sardines, mackerel, or squid unexpected gifts from the deep. Excitement runs high as cheers break out across the deck, cutting through the morning chill. Some sing as they haul in the nets. Others share jokes while working, creating an atmosphere that's both urgent and heartwarming. In the solitude of the sea, the waves are their only constant companion, and camaraderie is the most precious comfort, warming them against the cold. The flying fish, sleek with long wing-like fins, are sorted and moved into automatic washers. High-pressure water jets remove dirt, blood, and debris, leaving behind shimmering silver bodies like polished arrows. The smaller, rounder barracuda, 
their scales glinting in the sunlight, are sent down a sorting line equipped with weight sensors before heading into mass freezing chambers. Each batch, weighing hundreds of kilos, is packaged to meet export standards. On board, vacuum packing and freezing systems run continuously at 40 Saarid Kurdisi. This technology not only preserves freshness, but ensures the fish maintain their shape, flavor, and nutritional value by the time they reach distant markets like Japan, South Korea, the US, or Europe. Just hours ago, they were swimming in the ocean. Now, they're boxed, labeled with origin tags and QR codes, ready for shipment to port. When life wears you down, face it with courage and resolve. Don't complain. Pray for peace and push forward. It's almost time to head back to shore. During breaks between hauls, the crew sits on deck sipping hot tea or coffee to chase away the cold. Their faces show fatigue, but no one complains. These fishermen are used to non-stop work, braving wind and waves day and night. Each one is a warrior of the sea, resilient, determined, and unyielding to storms or searing sun. Behind them are their families, fishing villages, and entire livelihoods that stretch from sea to land. The bow turns, pointing toward new waters. Nearby vessels stay connected using satellite navigation, exchanging updates on fish-dense areas or empty zones. Modern fishing is no longer a blind expedition. It's a precise coordination of data, intuition, and deep-sea experience. They call each other over the radio, ask questions, and send GPS messages, bonds of brotherhood forged at sea. Some can tell the size of a school of fish just by the sound of the net tightening. A sixth sense developed from a lifetime on the water. And so, the fish keep coming, and the ship's hold continues to fill. The flying fish and barracuda, some admired for their gliding abilities, others beloved for their rich taste, are treasures of nature. They're not just commercial goods, but cultural symbols of the ocean. Ingredients in traditional dishes that have sustained generations of fishermen. As dawn breaks, sunlight spills across the water like flowing gold. On deck, the scent of fresh fish, sea salt, and engine oil mingles into a unique aroma only seafarers truly appreciate. Frozen containers brimming with flying fish and barracuda are sealed, marked with batch numbers, catch dates, and exact GPS coordinates. All are managed by modern software systems, ensuring full traceability and compliance. This is a mandatory requirement when entering the world's most demanding seafood market. The ship does not stay long. After completing preservation, the radar and GPS are reactivated, and the search for new fishing grounds continues. The digital map displayed in the control cabin highlights dark blue areas indicating suitable depths currently being scanned. Satellite data is continuously updated on water temperature, plankton density, and migrating fish schools. Thanks to this technology, the fishing journey relies not only on experience, but is also supported by modern science, improving catch efficiency, reducing risks, and saving fuel. The voyage continues toward the deep northern waters, a region known for large migrating ribbon fish schools. This month, the ship gradually enters a new zone. Fishermen know the seasonal migration patterns, timing, depth, and current directions of each fish species like the back of their hand. When the waves start rolling and seabirds soar overhead, everyone knows the fish are right below the surface. The order to deploy the nets sounds again, and a net hundreds of meters long is carefully cast, like a giant arm sweeping the ocean's surface. Then comes a magical moment at sea. Ribbon fish leap like small airplanes, flapping their long fins, hovering briefly above the water before falling into the net. It's a majestic scene where humans and nature unite. Every time the net is pulled in, the entire ship seems to cheer. The fish rush onto the deck, their silvery bodies shimmering under the sun like falling stars. In the processing area, the temperature is always kept low for optimal preservation. Workers labor tirelessly in shifts to maintain continuous operations. Each fish is handled to strict standards, cleaned, sorted, frozen, 
packaged and labeled. Some fish are processed into canned fish, dried fish, or freeze-dried products, depending on market demand. Ribbon fish are often filleted, vacuum-packed, and individually wrapped. Croakers, known for their firm, nutritious flesh, are highly prized in the Japanese market, especially for sushi, salt grilled fish, or dried fish. The fully loaded cold storage containers signal abundant income for the coastal region. The ship continues sailing, stopping at various transshipment ports. These ports are always ready, with long lines of refrigerated trucks waiting. Each box of fish is unloaded to cold storage or specialized containers for transport to factories or directly to export docks. The bustling fish ports operate day and night, serving not only as trade centers, but also as the heart of the fishing communities. Every box of fish brought ashore is more than just a product. It embodies the hard work, sweat, and deep love for the ocean of these steadfast people. Once port operations are complete, the ship heads back out to sea. This time, the target is deeper waters, aiming to catch larger species like mackerel scad, yellow fin tuna, tuna, or bluefish. But regardless of the species, the fishing process is always precise, strict, and passionate. They understand that protecting sustainable marine resources means safeguarding the future and the fishing tradition for generations to come. The journey continues across the vast ocean, waves pounding the hull. Deck lights shine over the water like falling stars. The fishermen quietly carry on their work, fueled by a profound love and boundless pride for the sea. They are not just fishermen. They are guardians of maritime culture, providing livelihoods for countless families and playing an indispensable role in the national economic value chain. If you'd like, I can continue deeper into this story perhaps moving on to catching different fish species, the local processing plants, or the international export scenes. Which direction would you prefer? Night falls quickly over the wide sea, the sky cloaked in thin clouds with the moon peeking through now and then. But on deck, activity never stops. High-intensity lights illuminate large areas of the water as if the sun were still shining. The deep hum of engines, radio chatter, and the sound of fish dropping into the hold blend into a lively symphony beneath the ocean. This is more than just a livelihood. For every fisherman, it is life itself, a faith and passion carried since childhood. Some have been going to sea with their fathers since they were 10, learning to watch the water, listen to the wind, observe the birds, and guess the location of fish schools. Others left the mainland to escape their pain, 